Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be uh, covering multicast. Uh, specifically, we're going to be going over uh, protocol independent multicast uh, dense mode. That's PIM dense mode. And uh, what we're going to do first here is we're just going to go ahead and uh, get our lab set up. Get our network set up here. Um, basically, multicast is used, um, you know, if you have, uh, you know, one server that's trying to uh, broadcast out, uh, you know, real-time uh, videos or audio or presentations for a company. Uh, but basically, it's like a one-to-many um, um, broad. I'm, I'm sorry, not broadcast. Uh, multicast packet. So it's not unicast where it's one-to-one. -one, you know, one source, one destination. Uh, it's not broadcast where it's one to all. And so what we have here is multicast, which is um, one to many. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, be configuring dense mode, uh, PIM dense mode. Um, there's many versions of multicast, you can have PIM sparse mode, PIM dense mode, uh, DVM, uh, DVM RP, which is a, a distance vector multicast writing protocol. Then you have uh, MOSPF, which is multicast uh, OSPF. So there's a lot of flavors of multicast out there. Um, you know, you just got to choose which one's the best for, you know, your situation. Okay, so uh, skip ahead a couple minutes. I just went ahead and built a network for us. Um, what I'm going to do now is to start going into the routers and configuring the, um, uh, configuring the routers. Again, we're going to be configuring uh, PIM dense mode. Um, in dense mode, um, the multicast stream is uh, pretty much... Uh, pushed out to all routers um, unless the routers um, say that they don't want to receive the, um, the multicast message. So they use this kind of a push mechanism where in sparse mode um, there's what's called a rendezvous point uh, configured on the network and to uh, basically um, the the hosts that want to join the uh, multicast uh, stream they have to um, go they find their way to the rendezvous point and ask uh, to see if the rendezvous point has that multicast stream um, so that's a little more complex using rendezvous you know, uh, PIM sparse mode um, but I've heard that that's what you're going to see most likely out in the uh, real world. So uh, PIM dense mode uses like a push technique, pushes it to all the routers unless the routers say, hey, look, I don't need this because I don't have any hosts, you know, um, on or any interfaces that are going to part be participating in the multicast stream. Uh, in that case, the router will then, you know, be pruned is what it's called. And we'll see that, uh, we'll see that later on here. So we're going to go ahead under, uh, start configuring our routers here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to be running, um, uh, let's just run the IGRP here. So yeah, this is uh, one of the um, 
you know, multicast is one of the topics that you'll be seeing, you know, when you go into Cisco's uh, like CCMP or uh, CCIP track or the, uh, you know, the CCIE routing and switching and the uh, CCIE, uh, CCIE service provider. So right now I'm studying for the CCIE routing and switching. So I'm going to try to, uh, try to, you know, um, get multicast down as much as I can before I get into the lab.